What is the role of a teacher? A learning facilitator? A molder? A nurturer? A role model? Or is he all of that and more? What do the students of today's strawberry generation expect from their teachers? And is this vastly different from the previous generations? Discussing this topic with us in the studio are new NIE graduates Irene Ho, Gideon Tan and Jonathan Yu, as well as their lecturer Norman Key. I think they, they expect teachers to be uh, sensitive to them, mm. to actually mm. know mm. them. Mm. And uh, somehow they, they expect it, the magical formula that you can uh, connect with them easily. Mm. Somehow th- th- there's this assumption that you can read their mind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and if you don't, they become disappointed. In the teaching profession, we must really learn how to be, uh, have empathy. Mm. And you must really know how to click with them. How are students' expectations today different from, say, when you were a student? You know, did you expect the, you know, all of this from your teachers as well? When I went to school, I, I just expect to learn as much as I can. Mm. I don't actually demand uh, that the teacher must understand me. Mm. Mm. I'm actually there to learn. <laughs> so I don't really expect them to be that much of a friend. Mm. Mm. But nowadays, these new generation expect teachers to be a friend too. Mm. <laughs> Okay, and uh, how about for the three of you? you know, just open to anyone. You know, what do you think students' expectations of teachers are today? I, I personally think I should quite agree with mm-hmm. what um, he said regarding that transmission of knowledge. Previously, as a student, I just want to learn as much as possible. But I think nowadays, I think it's not about no longer about transmission of knowledge. So students should just guess. Oh, uh, sorry, will just feel that the teacher is just like a Wikipedia. So. Mm. What is the difference between the teacher and the Wikipedia? I think there is a need for a clear distinction. I think they expect the teachers to help them decipher things and take their interest in certain things, uh, even mm. the study itself. So I think that is their expectation of teachers. I think students these days expect teachers to prove themselves to them mm. in terms of uh, their credibility because they are given access to a right range of knowledge online. So. They want to know what is the value that you can add to their experience in school. Yeah. Which is why it's you have to put yourself on the ground and really show them that you are in this together with them. Mm. And how do you prove that you are credible? You know? Do you have an experience to share with us? <laughs> yes. Um, well, one of the things that students find uh, apprehensive in do, uh, doing in music classes is especially singing. Mm. Now, they expect the teacher to to sing with them in order to get them to be motivated to sing and I really agree with that because if you if you just tell them to sing without actually role modeling it uh, they won't you won't win their hearts mm. at the primary level especially I feel that uh, the students would need to know that the teacher generally cares for them yes it's like they do not care how much I know how much I impart to them but until they know how much I care for them. So in my daily interaction with them, I have to, that the care and the empathy has to come through before they know that, hey, no, the teacher is doing all this because the teacher cares for us. Yeah. Mm. And can I just ask you as mm. well, you know, how do you get those vibes, you know, that they want your care and concern, not just your knowledge? Mm, because I find that um, whenever, uh, whenever I encounter any resistant students or any students who have difficulty following the guidelines of school and all that, um, after singling the, the child out and, and then talking to him or her face to face, I find that there is um, there seems to be all, all barriers seem to crumble and then the child is able to review his or her vulnerable side. And I find that it's easier to work alongside the child when, when, when the child feels that, hey, you know, uh, the, the teacher does care. That's why you know, he, uh, she's spending time after class or, or even during recess to talk with me. Up next, we pick up pointers from these teachers on what you should never say or do to upset or hurt the strawberry generation.